are from True Maths, and in this video, we are going to solve question number nine of exercise twelve point three. The question says, in the given figure, A, B, and C, D are two diameters of a circle with center O perpendicular to each other, and O D is the diameter of the smaller circle. If O A is seven centimeter, you have to find the area of the shaded region. So in this case, this AB and DC are two diameters intersecting each other at O, and because these two diameters are perpendicular to each other, that means this is the center, and the angle between these two diagonals must be 90 because these are perpendicular to each other, and this should be the center, and the length OA. Is given to us as seven centimeter. That means the radius is given to us as seven centimeter. Okay. So now we have to find the area of the shaded portion. So here, first of all, I have to find the area of this circle, and after that, I have to find the area of this part and this part. Okay. Now, first of all, if you want to find the area of the shaded portion. It is nothing but the area of the circle, okay? And the diameter for this circle will be the radius for this bigger one because the diagonal, sorry, the diameter that is D O for the smaller circle is the radius for this small, uh, this bigger circle because O is the center and D is on the circumference of this circle. So this that means D O is the Radius for this bigger circle, and that is the diameter for this smaller circle. Now uh, we know that the capital R for the bigger circle is seven centimeter, so the small r will be half of this because the diameter is same as the radius for this circle. So the diameter should be seven centimeter. So if I have to find the radius for this circle, that should be half of this diameter. So the small r for this should be half. Now after that, I have to find this. Obviously, you can use the formula pi r square to find out the area of this shaded portion. Now I have to find the area of this shaded portion. If I draw another figure for you, it should look like this. Now, from here, let me uh, show you that this is the semicircle where this is the center, and this is the semicircle, and I have to find the area of this portion. So that means from this semicircle, which is this semicircle, if I hide this. Figure so this half is the half circle which is semicircle and from the semicircle if I subtract the area of this triangle so I'll get the remaining area which is my shaded portion. So here first of all I have to find the area area of small circle that should be pi r square. The value of pi is 22 upon 7, and radius is 7 by 2 multiplied by 7 by 2. So 7 can be cancelled with this. This can be cancelled with 11. So it should be 77 by 2. And the dimensions are in centimeters, so this area should be centimeters square. So the area of the smaller circle should be 77 by 2. That means uh, 35 plus uh, uh, 38 point something, 38 point 5. Okay. So here, after that, I have to find the area of this shaded portion. So area of other shaded portion will be equals to the area of uh, the area of semicircle minus area of triangle. Okay. So the area of semicircle will be. Pi r square upon two. Here the radius is capital, 
So it should be the area of this com this complete circle should be pi r square. But I only have to find the area of the semicircle, so it should be half of the area of a circle. Okay. After that, I have to subtract area of a triangle because in question it is given that these two diagonals are perpendicular to each other. That means this the area of this triangle can be found by using the formula half base into height because this is the height which is the perpendicular on this base. This is the base. And this is the perpendicular. Okay, so if I have to find the area of this triangle, so I have to apply half base into height. And this base is nothing but the diameter of this circle. And there, if the radius is seven, obviously diameter will be double of the radius because this is seven. And again, this radius is also seven, so complete diameter is fourteen centimeter. And this, which is again the radius for this circle. And which is the height for this triangle? That is seven. So I have to find half base into height. So substituting the value, it is twenty-two upon seven. The radius for this bigger circle is seven. So seven multiplied by seven, and this is divided by this two minus half. This is base into height, and base for this right angle triangle is 14. So the base for this right angle triangle is 14, and height for this right angle triangle is 7. Okay, so here solving this, this 7 can be cancelled. This can be cancelled 11 times, so it is 77 minus this can be 7. It should be 49. So subtracting, it is 8. So it should be 28 centimeters square. Now, if I solve this further, it is. So it should be 38.5 centimeter. Now, if I have to find the area of complete shaded figure, shaded figure, that should be equal to the area of this figure. Plus the area of this figure. So the area of this figure is nothing but the area of the smaller circle, which is 38.5 plus. And the area of other shaded portion is this, which is equal to 28. So the my answer should be 0.5. Should be 66.5 centimeter square. So this should be my answer. So. This is how you can solve this particular question. I hope you have understood this one. Uh, the simple logic is whenever you have to find a shaded portion, what you have to do from the complete figure, you have to subtract the area of unshaded figure. So because in this case only I have to find out the area of the shaded portion, so there no need to subtract. Only you have to find the area of the circle. But in this case, if I hide this. From the same circle, I have to subtract the area of this triangle. So I get the remaining area, which is the shaded portion. So this is how the question can be done. So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact us. This is our phone number. You can call us or you can send us your query on WhatsApp. Thank you.